I, you said what? If you're Israel, you just leave the game. Oh, okay. That makes sense. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, so we should have Naruto's third come up here right right now. Like, or, well, second, I guess. I don't know. Third hatchery? Yeah. Um, We could see an all-in. We do have a, a lair going up, and he is on two gas, but we don't see any other tech, like a roach warrant or anything like that. He is really short on minerals, too, and he is going to take his base here. So he's going to be way behind. Uh, he's going to have a lot of production with that macro hatchery. That was definitely the correct decision for what he had to work with. But mm -hmm. it's just unfortunate that he didn't end up stopping it in time, I think. Yeah, for sure. Uh, you always should have, like, an Uncle Lord over there in that spot because it's so common to be walled off on Tolerin. Yeah, if you have caught that wall off early. It, though, it, there's not much you can do about it if you don't already have that drone up there. Um, yeah, that's true. Yeah. Yeah. Well, anyway, so Nardo is just going to be macroing up here. Uh, she'll probably start spreading creep anytime soon. There's an Evo chamber going up, so if Sesh did decide to go DTs, which that Twilight Council is almost finished, so we will see his tech toys shortly. Yep, but if Sesh does yeah. decide, yeah, if Sesh does decide to go DTs, then uh, Nardo should have support crawlers ready. All right, there's Star trying queued up right now. Uh, there are going to be four gateways out for Zess, and he is getting plus one here. Uh. I'm not really sure what the plus one is for exactly, um, but won't hurt, I guess. Naruto throwing down like 14 creep tumors or something. That was as a <laughs> queue up, but um, yeah, his expansion is going to be done here. He's down to 13 supply right now, so uh, I don't like this decision from Zess. Um, I think he's yeah, far enough ahead that to do something risky like this is actually really going to hurt him um, because he. He's mm -hmm. giving Naruto a chance to come back in this game. Yeah, I agree completely. And Naruto actually does not have any overlords, like, ready to sacrifice, so he's not going to have any idea these DCs are going to be coming. So, uh, potential, potential damage for Zess. Uh, but if Naruto's smart, he'll throw down those uh, sport crawlers in his main and get an overseer as fast as possible. And he does have world overlord speed, so that's going to even help with that even more. I am a little surprised that Naruto's not actually blindly throwing up sp uh, sport crawlers here. Um, oh, I, well, he's got a lot of larva. Holy crap, dude. Look at his second tantry. That Ooh. is a lot of larva. Yeah. All right. Um, but yeah, well, he has supply, no money, so. That's true. The supplies are evening up again. Um, and he, uh, I mean, he, you're playing Zeth, man. You gotta throw down a spore crawler. Like, <laughs> it's just the standard, pretty much. <laughs> it is. Zeth. There is an overseer making right now. I okay, don't know where true. it is. It's in his main. Oh, but these DTs are going to get in, and he doesn't have anything to stop the DTs. I mean, uh, he has no he's unit. making forward. He has a lot of larva, though. Is he okay? He needs to be. Oh, he's going to focus on that infestation. That that's going to be really, really bad. But a ton of zerglings should be in production right now, and he needs to stop this. And I think, wow, plus one attack is good. That queen died like almost instantly. Well, DTs <laughs> are good. I mean, DTs three shots queens, I think. But yeah. yeah. Uh, Zess doing an absolutely absurd amount of damage. 30 links in production, but Naruto already out of drones here. Uh, he's down to just 20 now to 56 of Zess, and uh, this camp is absolutely going to pay off, unfortunately. Um, yes. Yep. If, if Naruto had had his uh, overseer at the front or just out a little quicker, uh, this could have been way different, but it, it's just going to be this, and then Naruto is going to try to counterattack from here, but... Um, I mean, there's a complete wall off and a ton of units warping in now, so not going to work. Yeah. A spine crawler going down for Nardo again at the front. Uh, Proxy Pilot is still not dead. He has no clue about it. Now one Zergling is still working on that rock. Uh, but yeah, he just has a ton of Zerglings at this point that are really going to be really useless. Uh, Zeph, I mean, he doesn't have a ton of units, but he has the production capabilities and the macro to get a lot of units pretty fast, so... Um, whatever Zeth does decide to do here, it's going to be really strong no matter what. Mm -hmm. right, so Zeth is moving out and killing his own gateway right now. Doesn't need to do that. There he goes. He stops now, realizing that he didn't have a full wall off anyways. And it looks like he's actually just going to take a third here. Um, I don't know about that. Me neither. I feel like he, he's missing his timing where uh, Naruto has no drone. And either needs to re-drone or make a lot of units. And he he's got that timing down, but um, mm -hmm. definitely it's just a safe I, play. But I feel like it's not safe given the conditions. Yeah, if he lets Naruto get back in this game by letting him macro back up, it could be harder harder for Zest to win. But still, 
like Zesh is way way ahead. He's got a ton of upgrades. He's got all the tech down uh, that he really needs. He's got Robo. Yeah, except the Colossus in. But other than that, uh, he's got pretty much anything. He can do anything he wants. And I don't know. It's questionable getting that third, but if it might pay off, seeing that Nardo still has to drone up and he can't really make units. So. Mm-hmm. Um. This might be a weird question, but does MLG's Haldry Malter have a supply depot? No. I don't think so. Okay. Hmm. No. Hmm. Let me think about it. I don't think it'd make a difference. Uh. Would it? Against the Zerg, you're gonna wall off on the. Uh, I guess because you can't right. put it. Yeah, you can't right. put it like. Yeah, like, you can just like move the pylon back or forwards two spaces, and it's a wide enough choke, or long enough choke that it's... Okay. Yeah. Plus, if you put the supply depot there, then you can't wall off this Terran, which is pretty stupid, so... Well, yeah, I guess. <coughs> yeah, I'm here. Yeah, I, I, I don't know. I can't really think of the map, but I don't think it is. Nardo is now checking around the map with the Zerklings. He does see the pylon. He's not actually going to kill it, but uh, maybe he will. Depends. But anyway, yeah. Uh, Zesh taking, is taking out third. Nardo does get a good scout off, so he does see that uh, Zesh is deciding to macro up, and he, Nardo is taking the third himself. So... Well, Naruto's third is going to be cancelled here in a second. Yeah, that is true. Uh, three DTs, DPS is way too high, especially with plus two attack is pretty insane. Mm-hmm. That's 55 damage each swipe, so... Not even Take a cancel from Naruto. Yeah. He really needs all the money he can get, too. Yes, definitely. Uh, so... This, Nardo likes doing that Destiny build, right? With uh, all the... Yeah. And shit. But... <laughs> <laughs> yeah, he does. <laughs> if, Naruto, yeah. if Naruto manages to come back from this, I'm going to be, like, the most impressed person on the planet right now. Like, he is grossly behind right now. <laughs> look at the supply count. It's 158 to 79. Like, literally, that's all you need to look at. Yep. Four high <laughs> Templar out. He's not even getting Storm. He's just getting it for feedback. I mean, no. Yeah. No. You're right. Death you never know. Plus three now. I don't know. Yeah. Something could happen. <laughs> hey, man. Nardo maybe, could just... If he gets Neural Parasite... <laughs> maybe. Yeah, Neural Parasite, the High Templar, and then... Uh, I don't know what to do the own High Templar. Feedback on the High Templar with the High Templar. Yeah, that's right. Yeah. All right, so we do have an investor-infested Baron dropper up at the uh, third of Zest, and he is... Oh, he's trying to test his investor with his High Templar. And we'll see if... Oh, if Naruto sees that he can, he can kill one! He can kill one! No! Ah! Ah! All right. Nope. Infested Terrans just die too fast. Yep. Key, 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 key. Infested <laughs> Terrans are pretty fast, too, man. They are. They're actually faster than Marines, if you didn't know that. Yeah. By, by a negative mm-hmm. amount, but that's yeah. the point. Yeah, but holy investors. We got a lot of investors. Okay, so normally I think this is a terrible idea to just go mass investor, because I don't think it's a good way to play, but I think this is what Naruto needs. If there is one thing he can do to come back, like... You're right. Chain fungals on the zealots? Yep. Like, that'd be really, really nice, especially with all his roaches, too. Roaches just raid zealots, like, pretty badly. Yeah, but the zealots do have charge, correct? Yes, they do. Yeah, charge charge makes Zealous a lot better against Roaches, uh, simply because they have way higher DPS. But, yeah. um, yeah, no, you're right. Uh, 11 gateways in production for Zest right now. <laughs> he is uh, he is not fucking around. Oh, man. Apparently not. I don't know. He doesn't have even the minerals to support <laughs> that. <laughs> he's, like, he's adding 16 gateways at the same time. <laughs> this is... What? Oh, this is Ramline style serious? right here. He he wants I, to insta remax if he happens to lose his army. This is this Is this like even like viable at all? Safe. No, I mean think about it. If he gets chain fungled and he has to remake his whole army like <laughs> that well, he, the investors are gonna have absolutely no energy when this comes three more robos going down. <laughs> what the fuck? So okay. Wait a second. Hang on. How how is he gonna support all this? You're I, on I'm, four robos yeah. and twenty five gateways. On three base. Protoss. That's that's just Protoss right there. I, I just want to see a warp in. I just want to see how cool it is. <laughs> it's like fucking like 30 units getting warped in one. He's going to make like seven warp prisms and just use those as pylons from now on. 
<laughs> Seriously. Wow. So, well, it looks like Zeph is going to do a timing attack. <laughs> oh, that's uh, what we want to call it. Yeah, it's a timing attack. Jeez. Alright, so but, let's get a unit count real quick, sorry. Uh, we got 14 investors and 22 zerglings and 18 roaches against 35 zealots, 11 stalkers, 2 DTs, 2 sentries, and 4 high templar. And Naruto is down 30 at drones or whatever. Um, okay, so the attack's going to be in now. Naruto getting his army. Thinking about sacking his third, I think, here. Probably a good decision. Force him to come into the choke. But yeah. I, I think he's pretty dead, and I think he knows it. <laughs> yeah, pretty much. Uh, look at the bank with Sass, dude. That's oh, like. Feedbacks! Oh! Oh, and gets the, the uh, overseer, too. <laughs> No, that's a big deal, because now you can just warp in the mass DTs. Yeah, but he has a sport crawler. Yeah, but have you seen the DTs attack a sport crawler? No. Alright, here come the fungal growth. Not fungus. too bad. Yeah, I'm really it's good fungus. actually grouping all of them up. Holy cow. But I don't yeah, think this actually might go in Naruto's favor. Well, this engagement. Right, let's DT. calm down. Let's calm down. <laughs> he might win this battle. <laughs> uh, no, where's the warping? Oh, oh, I missed my it! God. I, it so <laughs> <laughs> I missed the warpin. That is that is gross. I do, that Dude, is hey, you know what Zealots can't do? They can't shoot up. He's got brood orbs. Yeah, but he has stalkers. No, he doesn't. On the back of this. Nope. See, it's, those aren't stalkers. Those are just Zealots. Alright. Did you say so? <laughs> so the three brood lords going to get sniped before this ends, and the uh, infested Terran's going down now. Look, <laughs> um. What the fuck? Dude, these investors are doing a lot of damage. Look at them, killing off two zealots. All by themselves. Dude. It's pretty good. Alright, Naruto, GG. <laughs> two GG. <laughs> wow. Alright, that was an interesting game to say the least. Yeah, I mean, that just comes down to that wall off and getting so far behind at the beginning. Uh, Naruto. Should have had an overlord there, should have had a drone there to block it, should have should have had this for that. And uh so, I mean yeah, you can have a drone there to block it. Doesn't always work though, you know? Um like you bring that drone down and then all of a sudden like he puts down one pylon where your drone isn't. Then he puts down the second pylon and your drone like bugs out in between those two or something, and then he just puts the third down. <laughs> uh you gotta manually do it though. Manually, like a man. Okay. There's a difference yeah. though, you know. Like, Zerg has to get their units to the middle of the building to put it down, and Protoss just has to be touching the spot of the building. That's how it goes, man. Protoss is pretty good. Yeah, that's what I've heard.